pro boxing fan Shane McGuigan, your man CBS pulls it out again. Look, a lot of people have said a Cody fight is going to lose that. A Cody's too big, too strong. Masternak experienced. Rich Iraq but unbeaten, carries power. But CBS Chris William Smith pulls it out once again and again. What, what do you put it down to? Has he got a good heart? Is it his skill set? A lot of people are saying he's got to have a good heart to keep going at that pace. Good engine, uh, but he's got heart. He's got balls. He's got determination. He's got uh, belief and will to win. And he's got an, he's got a brain between his ears, and that's the most important thing. When when he's re his back's up against the wall, he can concentrate. Exactly what he did tonight. He concentrated and listen, Riyad Bor, all he ever talked about, once I land and I'm gonna knock him out and I'm gonna do this and once I once I you know, I didn't I didn't I didn't land clean in the first fight. Well, he couldn't find it again in the second fight, you know, and he was he was well beat tonight. It was uh, it was a it was a nine yeah, you know, nine three, ten two I had it, you know. And that's us just being super I couldn't believe the scorecards but um, we can't take that. We can't let that take away from from the fact that he just avenged the only defeat on his career and did it well within himself. How good is it to train CBS? I've spoke to a lot of trainers and said some fighters are untrainable. You might teach them something, but when they get into that ring or when they start sparring, uh, they go back to their ways and they don't listen to their trainer. Is he one that fights? When you say something, it might take a little bit of time, but he gets it. He gets it straight away got to have the intelligence to digest the information that's the truth right and a lot of fighters the ones that they don't click with they don't have the intelligence and, and that's you know or they don't have the ability to do it so you know the fighters I've always got the, mo the most uh, success with they've believed in the process they've not questioned me uh, or the team or the system they've stayed true to, to the system and they've had their best wins under our gym and the fact that Chris is just like George and just like some of the other world champions I've worked with they ha he, has, he has the intelligence to be able to execute it um, and that there is the most important thing I, I believe um, and that, that allows you to be coachable yes you have to have the ability but you don't turn pro and you don't get to a certain level without having no ability you get found out at a certain level so if you get past that the most important thing is to be able to listen, digest not think that you're you know the the best thing since like sliced bread you know understand that i'm doing it for their best interest i'm not doing it for my own worth i'm doing it for them and if you keep applying yourself properly you get results and it's exactly what chris did he's got results um time and time again and i, I still believe there's more in him final one uh, i know he talks about las vegas but it looks like Riyadh might actually be a possibility because, you know, Jayapasai is fighting in Riyadh quite often. He's fighting on the Riyadh season cards quite often. Uh, Ramirez seems to, you know, there's a, they're saying that his name's going to be linked and they're fighting out there. So could it be most likely that he might be fighting out in Saudi before he fights out in Vegas? Maybe, but no, I don't know. I, I think for Chris, it's an exp he's an experienced person. He wants to experience things. You know, there's, a, there's always going to be money involved in everything. You know what I mean? When it comes to that top level boxing, and for him, like he just, you know, he wants to go out and experience Vegas um, or LA. He wants to box up a tail. Chris Billsworth genuinely really wants to box up a tail. But as for me, for, for me being his, his, his manager and looking after him and guiding his career has to be i would love it to be for an undisputed and i think the way the money is in 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 with the Riyadh season look they're doing crawford they're starting to branch out they're potentially going to do aj versus dubai in london like why can't we box ramirez and or we box uh, for the wbc title and uh Obsair boxes ramirez and then then there's a there's a there's a winning fight because i think chris and opatea will get through those both of those fights and then that, that sets up for an undisputed because that there is the icing on the cake. Cool. Shane, I know it's late. Thank you very much for your time as always this week. What's up, man? Thank you.